if remember we're talking about Kaizen or small improvements now these small improvements the key to this is focusing on an area where a small improvement will have the biggest effect so let's talk about uh, trade size meaning how many lots are we actually putting into the market now if we're going to adjust our trade size let's say we we up our trade size by 10 percent well that 10 percent adjustment is also going to increase our risk it's going to increase our reward okay so we're going to have both an increased risk and an increased reward on a dollar basis and if these are just a small smidgen out of balance what's going to happen well if we start to take on more risk then the reward will automatically go down over time because we don't win a hundred percent of the time so if we start messing around with remember our two to one ratio or we start taking uh, significantly less than fifty percent say we're winning forty five percent or thirty five percent of the time and all of a sudden we're taking more risk you can see how the reward is automatically going to go down so where then can we make these small improvements well what we're going to cover in the next few minutes is the number one area where a very small improvement will mean exponential rewards where we can take a two to five percent improvement in our psychology and have this exponentially return twenty twenty five maybe thirty five percent or more in net value that's actual profits so what are some of these big secrets well first of all the big secrets to being a real trader really are based in and, and focused on our beliefs about what is a trader now let me give you my definition and you can decide if it fits a trader is someone who manages investments trading on an active basis for capital appreciation instead of relying on market forces market forces would be somebody uh, that's relying on buy and hold so uh, the stock is or, or the currency or the future is moving like this so they just buy it wherever and they're hoping that the market will continue to go up so that's it that's buy and hold that's not trading a trader is somebody that tries to recognize market pattern, the pennants, the flags, the trading lanes, breakouts, etc., to to uh, appreciate their to grow their capital. So that begs the question on what is trading itself? Now, trading this may come as a surprise to you. Trading is nothing more than putting trades on and taking trades off. So the skill set of a trader then needs to be 100% focused on the actual act of putting trades on and taking them off. So the analysis, the indicators, all of the patterns definitely support our trading, but only in the same way that stretching, warm-up, drills, sprints, conditioning exercises support, say, for example, a runner in his running. Now let me give you, let me continue the analogy and then I'll give you some specific examples. So, if you spent, say, $200 on running shoes, $120 on a running outfit, you joined a running club, does that make you a runner? Now it may help make you a better runner, but think about it. The shoes, the outfit, the club have zero impact on the act of running. Now I want you to think about that. The same concept applies in trading all of the indicators all of the patterns the moving averages the candlesticks Fibonacci those are all excellent tools 